Hi, this week in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, we're going to show you how to manage your container images and deploy them on a Kubernetes cluster with just a few clicks. Customers today are increasingly turning to containers to power their cloud native workloads. And in order to do this, they need to build and manage their own container registry instance or utilize third party registries such as Docker Hub. They also need to install and manage complex Kubernetes infrastructure for container and cluster orchestration and management. In this video, we're going to show you how to simplify this. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Registry is a fully managed container registry that makes it easy for you to store, manage, and deploy container images securely, all within Oracle Cloud. The registry hosts your images in a highly available and scalable architecture, allowing you to reliably deploy containers for your applications and can be accessible globally. Now let me show you how easy it is to add a Docker image and access it in the OCI console. Okay, so I've logged into the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure console, and let's head over to the Containers tab, specifically look at the registry. And I'll see that I don't have any images pushed there quite yet. So if we head over to the terminal, I can quickly log in. Now I'm in the instance of the registry, and I'm going to log in using the name Reggie, type in my super secret password, and I've successfully logged into the registry. Now let's pull an image off the Docker Hub. We'll use BusyBox as an example. Now it's pulling the latest tag by default. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tag BusyBox. latest, and I'll use the registry identifier, OCIR.io, and then my tenancy, and we'll keep it BusyBox, latest. I've tagged it. Now I'm going to push it up to the registry. Quickly copy this. Now at this point, it's pushing the BusyBox image up to the registry, and it's complete. Let's go back to the console and do a quick refresh and see what we've got. And here we have the latest image of BusyBox. We're good to go. I also want to share another complimentary feature of the registry. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Container Engine for Kubernetes is a managed Kubernetes service that enables you to quickly create, manage, and consume Kubernetes clusters leveraging OCI compute, network, and storage resources without having to install and maintain complex Kubernetes infrastructure. The container engine was designed to be compatible with the registry, so you can store your Docker images in the registry and then quickly and easily deploy them on the container engine. Now, let's take a look at how to set up a container engine for Kubernetes cluster. Now let's head over to the clusters piece. So up to the tab, and I'm gonna create a quick Kubernetes cluster. I'm going to show you how easy it is. I'm going to give it a name. I'll call it OKE1. Select a version of Kubernetes. I'll select the latest. I have a VCN that I already have pre-populated. And I'm going to put it across two load balancers here in the availability domain. I'll use the default CIDR blocks. Make sure that the Kubernetes dashboard is enabled and the Helm is enabled. And then I'll hit Submit. Now the system is off, creating a cluster. OK, now I see I have an active cluster. I'm going to click on it here, and now I can see some details about the cluster. But I want to add a node pool, otherwise a group of compute nodes where I can actually launch Kubernetes workloads. It's easy to do that. I'm going to call this pool1. Again, I'm going to select the latest version of Kubernetes. Select an image, Oracle Linux, and now I'm going to choose a particular compute shape. In this case, I'm going to select the VM standard 1.2. Now I'm going to put three compute nodes out there and spread them across three availability domains. I could put my SSH key in there if I want to SSH in later, but let's click OK. Watch the node pool build. Okay, 
I see my node pool was created. Let's just give that a second to finish. All right, I see the status has gone to active across my node pool. So I have a working cluster and I'm ready to go get my cube config file and start working with it using kubectl out of the terminal. These two enhancements to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure allow you to quickly and easily set up a registry and your Kubernetes clusters in no time. For more information about these features, check out the resources below.